In this video, we're going to learn about exit statuses and exit status macros in C. So in C, the return value from the main function is going to be the exit status of the program. So right now we have return zero. And if we save this program and compile it and run it, we can check the exit status of the program using echo dollar sign question mark, and we'll get zero. Now, if we change the return value here to 17 and save the program and compile it and run it and then check the exit status, we'll get here 17. Now on Unix like systems like Mac OS and Linux, the exit status of zero is considered success and any non-zero exit status is considered failure. These exit statuses are provided to the shell or whatever other parent process executed our program. The shell or that parent process can then use the exit status to make a decision about what to do next. So for example, here is a very simple shell script that calls our program and then decides what to do next with an if else structure here, depending on the exit status of the program. So we'll save this here as basic.sh. And right now, if we run this with bash basic.sh, we'll get here program unsuccessful. But if we changed the exit status of our program to zero and we save it and compile it and then rerun the script, this time we'll get program successful. Now on Unix like systems like Mac OS and Linux, like I said, zero is considered success and a non-zero exit status is considered failure. But C provides a portable way of providing an exit status of success or failure using the macros defined inside the stdlib.h library. So here we'll include that library with number sign include stdlib.h. And the one macro for success is exit underscore success. And this here is a portable way of exiting with a status of success. So even if the platform you're writing and compiling your program on is not a Unix like system, this is still going to work. We're still going to get a successful exit status. So if we save this and then compile it and run it, practically it's going to be zero. So here we'll have echo dollar sign and question mark, and we'll get zero. There's also exit failure. So if we have here exit underscore failure and save this and compile the program and run it and then have echo dollar sign question mark, we'll have one which is considered a failure exit status. Now we can also use these exit success and exit failure macros in conjunction with the exit function, which is also in the stdlib.h library. So the exit function can be called at any point in our program's execution to exit the program right then and there with whatever exit status we want. So for example, if we had a function here, inside the function, we could call exit and we could supply it with exit success. Then down here, we could call our function and the program will actually exit right here with this status, exit success. So if we save this and compile it and run it and check the exit status, we'll get zero. Because the program exited with the exit success status when we called exit here. So this is how we can use exit statuses and the built-in exit status macros in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.